Okay, YouTube, it's actually Friday night, August 28th, and I'm getting a start on the next video because there has been a little surprise, and what has happened is as a result of my Apple warning video where I warn about the difficulties of extracting data from some of these Macintoshes that have the proprietary or permanently installed storage and are not functioning what you can wind up going through and we're going to see that right here because guess what we have <coughs> we have a MacBook Air laptop that is not running and as you can see I've got it plugged in it does take a charge it does accept AC power but when I hit the power button we get nothing so we've got some major issues here and the bigger issue occurs when you turn it over and I'll do that now on video disconnect the power turn it over now I'm going to try to zoom in on these screws very slowly very carefully If I can. Uh, looks like the video is not going to cooperate. So I'm going to have to explain this. There are some of these Macs of this era. That when you turn them over. There are screws around the perimeter. That hold th this bottom section on. And this is how you get into them. Some of these Macs have regular old Phillips head screws on them. Some of these Macs, unfortunately this Mac is one of them, have what are known as pentalope screws. Now this is a kind of security screw that Apple used on some of these Macs to make it almost impossible for an average person to get the bottom off. Well, guess what guys? I have a pencil lobe screwdriver. So I'm going to take the bottom off, but the pencil lobe screws are taken by me as a warning. A warning of what is under the cover. And I can almost tell you with 99% certainty what is going to be under this cover is either a proprietary solid state storage stick or storage chips soldered directly to the motherboard. And tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I'm going to open up this cover and we're going to find out what is in this Mac and I will explain how we approach it when that happens now for me like I said it'll be the next day for you guys it'll just be a second so I'll be right back okay for you guys it's just been a second for me it's the next day I removed the cover from this Mac which requires a special pentalobe screwdriver which I have and as you can see most of these things are battery the logic board is this section down below here and the good news is that this particular MacBook Air has the SSD stick 
Uh, the bad news is it is a proprietary SSD stick. Come on, connector, focus in. There we go. Some of you that know these SSD sticks may be able to tell that that connector is not your typical M.2 SSD stick connector. It's a proprietary Apple connector, which means I'm going to have to get special tools in order to talk to this SSD stick. And when I acquire those tools, we will come back to this video and get everything done. I just want to give everybody an inside look as to what these Macs are really like. The, um, I believe they started doing the soldered on storage in 2016. Don't quote me on that. 2018, they started using a new security chip called the T2 security chip. And when we get into these 2018 MacBooks, data recovery is extremely, extremely difficult. Supposedly, from what I understand, it can only be done by Apple with a special tool that they have. This is what got, part of what got everybody in an uproar about Apple right to repair lawsuits. Um, it's also extremely difficult with these 2018 and up Macintoshes. If you have a bunch of these things and you're, let's say you're a recycler, extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, to recycle these machines properly and resell them. In fact, a lot of times, the entire laptop winds up getting thrown into a huge shredder because they cannot be safely resold. And as I just said, when I get the tool for this, we'll come back to this video. I'll see. For me, it'll be a few days. For you guys, it'll just be a second. Okay, everybody, for you guys, it's just been a second. But for me, it's actually Wednesday, September 2nd. And we got the next segment of our Mac recovery video. The new laptop that everything's going on is right over here. Brand spanking new. Never even been set up yet. It is a Windows laptop. And we're going to be working on getting that set up today. Um, my original plan for this video was to do all of the segments in one video. And publish the entire thing however that's going to have to be done in two videos and the reason being is reason being the tool that I need for our SSD stick which is right over here is actually on back order and it's not going to be here for nine days so I'm going to have to do this in two video segments. Um, one other thing I did work on was I worked on getting a Catalina virtual machine installed in, and running in my virtual box. And the reason for that is this. A lot of people turn on File Vault. In File Vault, for those that don't know, is full hard disk encryption. And the problem with that is even my modified Windows machine that has a special Mac driver on it so it can read Mac volumes can't read File Vault encrypted partitions because there's no there's no place, there's no receptacle within the program's code 
to allow me to enter the required password so I can log into the drive. Therefore, I've had to set up a virtual machine in my virtual box. Um, the actual act of doing this is another story for another video, but when we get to the actual data recovery, I will show you a little bit of the Catalina virtual machine. Uh, I must warn you ahead of time, the performance is not spectacular, but it does work. Uh, with that, I think that's going to be the last segment for this particular video. As always, please feel, please comment, rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see everyone next week where hopefully we will have the cradle and I'll be able to show that to you and get this drive attached and start getting data off it. I'll see everyone next time. See you all soon. Bye-bye.